सुप्रभा सेशन एक पर्यावरण शिक्षक हैं my sense of the word violence is not the act of hunting killing and eating you know so i tend to see violence as something that is um you know subjugation has an element of sadism in it is suppressive and does not um contribute to the community as a whole so i understand that all all life all organic life is involves the act of eating somebody and of course obviously now we know how we are eaten by other beings as we speak so the act of eating is a momentary act of transgression and obviously it's not pleasant for the one being eaten you can say but there is something in uh, you know that whole interconnection food uh, 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 cycles that uh, is part of creating diversity somehow the community benefits uh, the members of the other members of the clan benefit um so i have never looked at violence in you know jaws and claws and you know red and tooth and claw and all that i've never seen it that way in nature mm-hmm. i have witnessed you know quite some acts of um praying and killing but uh, the word violence doesn't pop up in my head whereas when i see you know someone beating a dog and a chained dog that or a or a child you know i remember early memory of a, of a, some boys in a, not in the krishnamurti school in another school i went to using a magnifying glass to torture an ant and then it kind of like fries up you know with the concentrated focus of the rays of the sun so those were you know what is that there's a the sadism that keeps uh, beings on leashes and chains and also peoples and all that Mm-hmm. and my life has been a quest to find that which is um more primordial and of its own of its own willfulness and being mm-hmm. so the the sense of the jungle raj as being this uncontrollable uncontrolled and uncontrollable place mm-hmm. uh to me that is the natural state of affairs mm-hmm. and right. if you don't relate with it mm-hmm. you are destroying the planet so in in my thought human is part of the universe human is part of nature human human to be human is to be part of of a community of beings let's say in the adivasi cultures you're not creating objects for an elite you know it and it it is so de- um you know the the techniques are so democratic that it goes back into the earth you know it's utilized and then it goes back into the earth but how does it happen that this whole thing gets built up into this sort of hierarchical hierarchized militarized progressively estranged from wilderness and then and then the gods and deities getting put into you know enclosures um no longer in the actual mountain in the actual you know uh, rock in the actual stream but in representations which you then have a relationship with a representation and not with the actual being all life makes it possible sooner or later for other life forms to come very soon they're actually coming behind you know there's a weed going then there's a butterfly coming then there's some ants and then there's some uh, you know little sapling of a tree that couldn't have grown on concrete but there are these other you know so cracks in concrete so once you start to recognize that and then you understand the power of the ecosystem where you are wherever you are there is a biome actually there waiting to happen that had been there so what can you do to help that happen mm-hmm. for me it would mean to take you know a lot of the concrete off but then that would be seen to be an act of violence you see yeah. if i say let's not have a road let's have a path mm-hmm. as an act of violence against the car culture and people who believe that they are entitled to have cars and and to pollute your own lungs so if i say look my lungs are being polluted let's have a tree here <laughs> that would be an act of violence in today's culture